These are the 10 most dangerous ocean animals that ever existed. If you see these in the ocean, swim the other way, because they're going to get you. I kind of want them to get me. I'm going to get you. Number 10. Number 10. Box jellyfish. Number 10. Ooh, Ooh box, box jelly from jellyfish. Of jellyfish would be painful. The box jellyfish definitely takes it up a notch. That's because it doesn't look that doesn't look that bad. Nah, this should be number one on the list, guys. Really? I don't Why? know if you know that. Dude, this thing is like the most dangerous. Is it? They're like a hundred feet long. And if you even like touch one little tentacle, one little tentacle, I'm no, pretty sure you're dead. No, Wait, Jack, no, you are dead no, on the spot. No, Wait, Jack, Jack. No. Haven't you got stung by a jellyfish? I'm not yeah, I got I've been stung by a jellyfish, right? The but box there's jellyfish. jellyfish. That and thing? then there's box jellyfish. Box jellyfish, Ooh. I think, are the biggest jellyfish species, and they're the most dangerous species. And jellyfish are everywhere, too. You can come across a jellyfish farm that's like a mile long, all filled okay, with box right. jellyfish. This is SpongeBob. This is SpongeBob. It's, this is not it's dangerous Spongebob. out there, boys. I'm trying to so keep you informed. Yeah. What? Okay. Jack, I, I might need to stop watching this video, boys. <laughs> I don't think I can watch the rest of it. I am terrified. <laughs> I am terrified. Oh, I have, what is it, agoraphobia? I am agoraphobic. <laughs> administer one of the most toxic stings in the world. Now, as far as mm. jellyfish go, box jellyfish are pretty massive, coming in at about 10 I told feet you. long. Their tentacles I have told about 5,000 stinging feet long. cells. I oh thought you said 10 feet. And each it's close enough. To <laughs> no, that's not oh even God, close. It Look at him. It's a dude, he's got a death wish. That is not 10 so feet. Painful. Put it down, put it down. You're going to shock and drown. That's Bear Grylls doing. Moments after yeah, Bear's about to get grilled by that jellyfish. Even if you That's do not survive, actually Bear Grylls, guys. <laughs> I forgot that guy's name. Oh, it's weeks. Nigel Thornberry. There's often significant scarring <laughs> where the tentacles made contact with your skin. As a result, we'd suggest swimming in the other direction if you see one of these. Yeah. Oh, that's good advice, yeah, bro. Yeah, Thanks for that. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Number nine. I will be swimming in the opposite direction. Ooh, number nine. Ooh, it has killer in the name for a reason, boys. Do you guys have any predictions of other animals that might be in the top of the list? Sharks. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> um, Good answer. Um, whales, maybe? Maybe barracuda? What maybe? about those spiky things? You know those oh, little puffer spiky fish? things? Puffer fish is a good one. I no. think maybe an octopus would be in here. Like a, like a giant Pacific Rim octopus. Tuna fish. They're 800 pounds. What about blue whales? They're the biggest animal in the world. Surely blue whale is in there. Guys, comment down below what you think the most dangerous animal is going to be. A blue whale is pretty much just like a, like a giant blob of nothing. It's like a nothing burger. What? You don't have to be worried what? about that. No, they don't even no, eat people. No, no, they Jack. eat little tiny grilled Jack, shrimp. That was stupid. They, that was, I don't that know was... if you guys have ever seen the video of like the two women that got like eaten by the... I, hey, it wasn't yo. a blue whale. It was like a sperm whale. It, it hey, ate them and then it yo. spit them out because they don't eat people. So you don't even have to worry about it. I don't know, bro. I think if I saw one swimming next to me, I'd be a little bit scared. Just go into the pool with Adam. Whales are certainly one of the most impressive fish on the planet. Typically coming in at a length of about six they don't look so dangerous. A weight yeah. in excess of six tons, they truly are massive. It turns out that they are not, in fact, whales, but instead the largest member of the dolphin family. He's smiling. Regardless, they hey, wait, are who named them hunters, whales? Typically attacking in packs and going after seals, cod, Aren't and those? at times even mink mm. whales. Aren't oh orcas like the they same thing? Tendency to attack humans. They are the, the same thing, yes. Yeah. Okay. Very rare. Good job, Instead, Alec. It's when I, I was just asking. Shut up! That they become deadly. They will sometimes lash out against their trainers out of frustration, no. stress, or loneliness. I mean, I would do the same thing if I was ended. Captain Captivity. Have you guys heard that story about like SeaWorld when that killer whale killed that person? Look yes. at those teeth. Yeah. They're I've dangerous, bro. Look, th you would think that's cute and cuddly, Alec. Look at the canines on that thing. I kind of do. I it it looks squishy. I like, I want to squish it. I'm pretty you know? sure it, it like drags a human way underwater. Then when they try and come up for air, they just keep pushing it down with their nose and like make them Well, drown. yeah, that's what happened They're at scary. SeaWorld because like they were were angry that they were in captivity for so long and then they go crazy like they start it, to yeah. have their mind altered and then they don't know that like humans aren't trying to hurt them seriously and then they they just start like attacking humans but they think that they're playing with the human i don't think they think they're playing they shouldn't be in captivity because like they get all confused they're dangerous, and it's dangerous for the divers they're too smart they are too smart to be in captivity it's yeah like, they need more it stimulation it's like know? alex it's like alec with fins and gills At times yeah. even yeah. as a result yeah yeah these attacks certainly yeah. have given I don't even get it, but okay. In recent years. Cause he's fat. Oh, you were saying, fish, you were yeah, saying yeah, the puffer fish earlier. Spiky thing. What is this? Is this, thing. The what is this? Fish is, one of the most uh, is this like a like a Where's Waldo? <laughs> Found in coral reefs throughout the Indian Where is it? Pacific Oceans, it's a master I, of disguise. I don't see Hiding Waldo anywhere. Floor to camouflage with its surroundings. It is while it's on the sea floor that it hunts. 
quickly swimming and catching Whoa. unsuspecting prey at oh. rapid speeds. Oh. Speeds that are so rapid. Adam, calm down. You're acting like Yo. you're just oh. the most amazing thing ever. Chill from. out, it's Adam. Cool. Jeez, That's you're acting crazy. like you've never seen a fish attack. However, that was crazy. Usually not it looks like a rod. Gosh, that's me when I wake up. Alive. If threatened. That's because they have 13 dorsal fins on their spine that contain a highly toxic <laughs> Why does it look venom? kind of funny? With this venom leading to severe pain. Jack, what are you saying, dude? This thing is I, a killer. I like laughing. that you like you can you can like kind of see its face. Like yeah, <laughs> it looks grumpy. Oh my dude, god. Yeah. It's not Imagine how long all. it stays there. It probably stays there for like hours and hours and hours just with the same face expression, just waiting for something to come along. Please imagine if this thing was like eight feet tall. <laughs> it would be just like humans. Imagine just like standing at a McDonald's just standing standing next to the wall waiting for somebody to walk by and you what just like chop their food. Life. What a boring life this thing must have. It just lays there and thinks about food. It sounds awesome. You, Adam? Adam? <laughs> how, awesome, how's life bro. like that? <laughs> Get me in the ocean. This is your spirit Art animal. And even death if left untreated. Luckily, since 1959, there have been an anti-venom that can treat stonefish stings. <sighs> I was worried, boys. A wounded area in hot water can help soothe the pain. Yet given that they only sting if stepped on not or going to the ocean. touched in any way. Oh, okay, so you're supposed to pee on it if he gets stung. I heard that's a myth. Scuba diving. You no, know, I heard that you're supposed to do it. Off the reef. <laughs> okay. Whoa. I'm, just, I heard I'm gonna myth. believe oh, my gosh, people. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 hold up. That's, is that, is that real or was that Photoshop? I think it's real, let's replay it. Are you serious? Bro, that's real. No, Look at his no, teeth. no, like no. A that is a, Yo, that guys, you you took you took a tuna fish and you guys, combine it with a shark in a in a the animal most deadly combiner. Animal. Guys, no, it's it, not. Guys, it's a British fish. <laughs> we just lost like half of our audience. Uh, Thanks. Thanks, Alec. <laughs> Why is he still laughing at that? Uh, that was, uh, uh, that Alex, was show your teeth to the camera right now. Okay, uh, editor, get rid of his face cam in three, two. <laughs> All right, he's what? gone. Let's continue. Just blur him rest out. Of the, the, video, rest of the video. Just have the fish uh, as Alex face cam. <laughs> just have the fish with red hair. Oi, I'm a fish and I don't have braces. Oi, oi. All right, you can just mute him too at this point. <laughs> 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 well, most of the fish on this list only attack humans if wait, is, wait, hold on, is that an eel? Fish stands apart for having actively attacked humans on a number Looks of like occasions. He's got venom. Found throughout the Congo River Basin, the Goliath tigerfish is rather large, growing to lengths of about one and a half Whoa. meters. Whoa! That is a lot bigger than I thought. It hunts by ambushing small fish, speeding up to them and oh my gosh. down on them. I've never been so happy to not be a small fish. fish. Tooth typically growing as much as one inch long. As a result, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the local name for the species is the Mbenga, which means ah, yes. dangerous. Alec, can not, you say that? Not a surprise the at Mimbenga. all. Mimbenga. Mimbenga. Is that what Mimbenga. he said? Say that That's because yeah. when, it, when it bites you, you're like, Mimbenga, Mimbenga, yeah. Mimbenga. It's the sound you make when it attacks. There's fish in Swahili. <laughs> Yet what makes the Goliath tigerfish really dangerous is the fact that it will often attack prey much larger than itself. Oh God! Like oh you, my Alec. God. Crocodiles Dude, look at its eyeballs. Its eyeballs are more scary than its teeth. Of attacks from I don't this know about that. Creature. As a result, we <laughs> rest no soul. far away from this body of water unless you'd like to become its next victim. I'm good. I'm never getting in the ocean Number again six, or any fresh water. This thing looks huge. the Amazon River, there are packs of predatory fish known as red-bellied piranhas. I actually These take it back. These should be number one. Which grow to lengths of about 50 yeah, piranhas are scary. And in about five kilograms. They're small. Are notable because they are not only meat eaters. Dude, but they got razor sharp, sharp pencil teeth. sharpener teeth. They only weigh five kilograms. Teeth to chase down small prey. Yeah, but look at the teeth. Worms, it's got a big underbite. Fish. And in fact, will often scavenge for plants and insects in order to meet their dietary needs. Kind of looks like KSI. Scarce piranhas will at times gang together to take <laughs> looks like down the big large meek. prey in what is known as a feeding frenzy, usually eating up said large individual within minutes. Gosh, dude, it's got red eyes. An animal such as a capybara or an egret. The... Wow. However, in some cases, the victim will unfortunately be a human. Oh, and although no. such occurrences are extremely rare, they have unfortunately led to some very horrific deaths. It's like a horror movie. Oh, yeah. That'd be terrible. Uh, fathers, oh, okay. they, they did Let's make go. a horror movie. I told you, swordfish. What's when so bad about a swordfish? That? When did he Dude, say chop swordfish? Off his, oh, wait. Chop off the nose and it oh, wait, doesn't. Oh, wait. It's literally I mean, number 40 on the list. I might have said tuna fish. Same thing, bro. <laughs> Same thing. Come you on. said shark. Shark. <laughs> Do you wake tuna. up and forget your name in the morning, too? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> As the name suggests, swordfish are definitely one of the sharper fish out there. Wait, there's swordfish and then there's sailfish, right? They're different. Honed and yeah, I think sailfish have like a big uh, dorsal fish. fin. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a big sail. Right? Yeah. Their prey with yeah. their swords, they typically use them as scythes, slashing through small Ooh. schools of fish in order to That's knock actually them out crazy. and gobble them up. That is crazy. <laughs> I don't like the way he said gobble. He's just slashing there. Gobble, gobble them up. He just gobble them up. They're harpooned. That's because when impaled, they will typically jump yeah. or dive in such a way that could damage a boat or injure a human. Unfortunately, you think it's ever like gotten broken in half? Its nose? Yeah, like they're like swimming real real fast, right? Going through the water, and then they see a boat, and they're like, "Ooh, that's a big fish! I'm gonna eat it!" And then they like ram its their nose into it, and then it oh. breaks. Maybe, but I have seen one jump onto a boat and pierce somebody, and it got like stuck in his leg. <laughs> Wait, and it was like flopping around in his leg. <laughs> yeah, there was a video of it. What? Yes. Not in person. I saw oh, a video uh -oh. Of it. oh, I was about to <laughs> I say you were on a boat and you got impaled. <laughs> I thought you were no, on some no, sort of reality show. I saw show. a video of someone else that got impaled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was really that sounds awful. Alex yeah, we, got a second we, life we don't know about, guys. Alex and yeah, Fisherman. my second life on TikTok, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they can get mangled swords. In 2015, when he became the first recorded person to be killed it doesn't regenerate, but it does he heal over time one and continue to grow. One by instinct, Thanks, Jack. The swordfish jumped up and in the process punctured lambs oh, in the chest, gosh. leading to him to That's what you just said, Alec. Hospital. Yeah, it's but I saw a video of it. Dangerous swordfish truly are. Oh my god. Wow. But they do have a pretty big dorsal fin too. Out of the water yeah, they do. Look at that. Inside of it. This is because their meat contains very high levels of mercury. Ooh, and this is of special it's concern. Really delicious. Are they poisoning us? Long-term swordfish yeah. consumption can uh, yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a lot of mercury in tuna that? too. Over time. No, but they're good. The there's a lot of mercury in tuna too. It could damage a baby's developing brain. Oh my gosh. As a result, oh, wow, I didn't know about that. Guys, guys, did your mom happen to eat a lot of sailfish that's or swordfish her, that's her growing favorite up? Food. <laughs> she <laughs> loves swordfish, When she was pregnant actually. with you guys? Oh yeah. my god, I need to call my mom. <laughs> Honestly, I could have I could have told you. I have to call my mom later. It's <laughs> mercury high fish. Alec, did your mom eat a lot of spicy food? Anytime soon. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> your fire hot. Yeah. Pufferfish. Uh, oh, pufferfish. Someone said that. Fish. Yeah! I said pufferfish. No, I said pufferfish. I'm pretty sure you said pufferfish. I'm pretty sure I said the spiky fish, thing. And you said the spiky thing, and then and you, you claimed said, the other rock fish. No, maybe. Jack said puffer fish. But you said puffer fish, and I was, you know, it's my half you my idea. Literally, Jack. case closed. Half case closed. Case closed. You just admitted it. It was half my okay, idea. Okay, let's find out why they're so dangerous, guys. Your ability to puff up and poison their predators makes them extremely dangerous. It's so small, though. Now, puffer fish typically only inflate when they feel threatened. As their puffed up persona makes them look like a giant ball of spikes. Kind of looks like a bird exactly right now. Appetizing for a would be predator. Oh my gosh, that camera's Additionally, crazy. Their spikes contain a neurotoxin known as tetrodotoxin, Whoa. which can cause paralysis, seizures. And the eyes are crystal. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. Yeah. Worse, looks like the neurotoxin is not only yeah, 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, but it's also so abundant. Can we see it blown up? That just uh, one yeah. has the ability to kill up to 30 adult humans. No what? way. When you then further consider that there is no, no way. antidote for a puffer fish's Holy neurotoxins. Smokes. It becomes what? clear that they should probably be avoided. Interestingly, however, there is a Japanese delicacy known as fugu oh my God, the that eyes turns are the fish into a delectable dish. Having been eaten by the Japanese for over 2,000 years, fugu is a mainstay in Japanese culture. However, fugu. in recent years, it has been heavily regulated by the state. Ever since 1958, uh, chefs had to obtain a license in order to prepare fugu. This involves uh, first completing a two-year apprenticeship under a certified oh fugu gosh. chef. It's probably poisonous, that's why. An examination. It, they literally said it's poisonous. Oh. Oh. It's not probably. <laughs> it is. It is poisonous. <laughs> yeah, it's from site. It's probably poisonous. Nice. <laughs> fugu preparation component. However, considering Our mom got a dollar for every time you said fugu. Pass, the license He's saying fugu, isn't, isn't he? Easy to obtain. I don't know, but it looks so good, bro. I want it. Highly trained. You would undoubtedly Why would they kill a such a little cute creature? Chose to consume a puffer fish. They didn't Number show three, it blown up once. Lionfish. Oh, I heard about this. Vibrant patterns, I've heard about these too. Interesting shape of a lionfish may make them one of the most beautiful fish on the list. I think they're list. very poisonous. This certainly doesn't make them any less uh, dangerous. With their spikes. spikes. Coming from the South Pacific yeah. and Indian Oceans. Well, yeah, normally things that are like really there, bright and colorful are poisonous. Smaller fish. However, right when now, threatened, like, they'll make use of the poisonous spikes. Yeah, especially if they're extra fruity, back, more poisonous. Underside. Being filled with toxin, being stung with said spikes can cause intense pain and sweating. And in extreme cases, respiratory distress and paralysis in humans. That Luckily, sounds there's a awful. simple cure for lionfish stings. 
as one you must simply it. remove the spines just stop and the bro and it sounds like you want to pee on yourself if i'm just saying dude if you, you ever get poisoned by anything could be food poisoning could be lionfish poisoning i'm gonna pee on you far less don't effective. get poisoned alec yet what makes lionfish <laughs> even more worrisome is that they're an invasive species appearing in uh. densities of over 350 <clears throat> fish per hectare on some reefs what the heck? per hectare guys across the eastern seaboard and the hmm. mediterranean this is problematic because they not only have Seriously. no predators outside the Indo-Pacific, but they also have a voracious what? appetite, and most notably decimated <sighs> about 65 to 95 percent of the endemic small reef fish in the what? Bahamas in just a three Wait, geez. are you kidding me? As a result, we can expect issues regarding these feisty fish to continue to skyrocket. Dude, they look ugly and they act even uglier. They're like the plague baloney. fish. Number two, Kendiru. No way. Oh, I've never heard of this. Neither have I. I don't know what this is. What the heck is this? But incredibly mighty. Mighty. Ew. Ew. Oh my god. Ew, dude. It looks like an anchovy. Guys, see? You guys see? It's only 17 centimeters, but it still packs a punch. That's how you know size does not matter. No one said that. Why are you like defending yourself? I'm just putting it out there. It sounded very defensive. No one's coming at you, man. I'm just putting it out there, You're the biggest one here. It's not even like you're five foot five. You're like. Six foot three. Yeah. Just Why are you defending there. short kings? I wasn't talking about height. All oh, right. feet That's size. Alec does have small feet. A vampire fish, due to its tendency to swim into the gills of smaller fish, that fish is cool. and live off them. Oh, it parasite. swims into the gills. However, while the reports on the subject what? are shaky, there's quite a bit of anecdotal evidence to They're like a parasite fish. Oh, wait a second. Target. Can they attack people, though? Oh, my gosh, the face. Do they wait, go wait, inside wait, of your ears? Have another target. Bro. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, imagine that thing crawling up in your gills. <laughs> Dude. It's like, hello, I'm in your gills. It has no idea about personal space. Just probably the eyes. All up in there. It's just trying to make a friend, and then swims into your gills. Everyone trying to give face. you a hug. We... In particular, reports specify that kangaroos <laughs> have a tendency to swim into human private parts. Oh, 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 what? oh! It is said that once oh! I'm never going to the, the ocean again. With barbs, with oh! the butts. driving deeper into them if you try to pull one out. What? As a result, <laughs> what is an ocean tank? Accounts suggest just cutting the offending member off in order to relieve yourself of the pain. Oh my I'm God. plugging up oh my butthole my before God. I go swimming. Empirical evidence attesting that the attacks remains limited. Might have to, man. In fact, many scientists. <laughs> I'm, not sure the, I'm not sure if the bug hole it goes out. If a candiru were to swim um, up um, it um, might be the other be side. No. Please don't show it. Please don't show it. Ah! Long after having done so. Oh, so they they swim up their back. Still suggesting far away from the Amazon's murky waters. God, <laughs> stay out of the Amazon. I don't even think I would go in the Amazon regardless, but now I'm definitely. Not doing it. Target. Imagine that thing just in there. What is Who number won? one? Yes! Okay. Yes! I got it! Although great Let's go! Not quite as dangerous as movies like Jaws <sighs> and Sharknado. Let's make go! To be. Sharknado! One of the most Wait, I thought Sharknado was based off a true story. Sharknado! No, it's a hypothetical. Like, it could happen in an alternate reality if tornadoes get strong enough. Oh, I see. Dangerous animals out there. Measuring as long as six meters and typically weighing in at more than two and a half tons, it's pretty clear that the Great White is massive. Unsurprisingly, Seriously. it therefore uses its sheer power and 300 serrated teeth to its advantage, attacking prey such as sea lions, seals, small tooth whales, and sea turtles. Yet it turns out that at times humans also make their way onto the menu. And while sharks don't actually like the taste of humans, they often mistake them for seals. However, after they take one bite and realize their mistake, they generally swim away. I've heard that a lot, that a lot of animals, like, don't like the taste of humans, but, like, is there an animal that does like the taste of humans? Do you guys know? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cannibal. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. This is, we live in the same building. There's a bonus on this list. It's me <laughs> when I swim in the ocean. No. <laughs> Dirt boy in water. He's got gills. As even one bite is enough to severely maim or even kill a human. Yet with only about 30 to oh 35 shark attacks occurring. Oh, wow. Look, look at the scars on that bad boy. Face to face with one arm look at all the low. scars on his face. As I literally just said that. The numbers, it oh. seems that it really is the <laughs> sharks who should be scared of us. Ooh. Because if we include all types of sharks, humans kill a total guy? of 100 million of them. Nice chest there, bro. Oh, no, that was <laughs> Steve words, from Blue's Clues. 4 and 7.9% of their entire population. 
Say that cheese. looks like a vampire. This shark slaughter. He's always smiling. Man for shark fin soup from many Asian countries, where it's a delicacy that's so expensive that just one bowl of it can cost upwards of a hundred bucks. What? As a result, no conservation way. efforts are being made around the world to ensure that these sharks remain in our oceans and stay off our dinner plates. Yeah. That's all we have for you today, everyone. The ocean. Every time you're in the ocean, you've probably wondered, how deep does it go? Well, today we're gonna be finding out how deep the ocean actually goes and what creatures lie beneath the depths of the surface. Well, today you're gonna have this opportunity. Now, how good are you at holding your breath? Not that good? I can hold it for like two well, minutes, not maybe. To worry. Yeah, Hop maybe like 10 seconds for me. Craft and Try join me in the video. voyage to the depths. Ready? Here we go. Ooh, Everyone, breathe in. <gasps> right now, just below the surface, you see that life is thriving here. Fish and marine animals abound, and yeah. hey there, swimmers are waving at us. But we won't be staying here for long. Whoa. Bye. -bye. Are you guys holding your breath? Feet, yeah. There's a whole new right. world opening before your eyes. Shallow coral reefs are standing beautifully <laughs> not far from the shore. And Whoa. hey, there are people here again. It's scuba divers this time, though. Oh, scuba pressure is a scuba do. Looks like he's going into equipment. heaven with all that light. One hundred thirty feet go is soon. the depths where we say goodbye, even to recreational scuba divers. Oh my gosh, divers. we're already two hundred feet deep. It's the maximum allowed for them. Guys, Take I can't care, hold guys. my breath anymore. Let's go back up. Feet. Feet. Turn it around. Okay, okay, okay let's orca. go up. Let's go up. Let's turn it around. Oh, there's a orca. There's two hundred feet. Shallow waters of almost every sea and ocean in the world. Did you know that they're the apex predators? By the way. Jack died. Jack no died. We made it to 220 feet. And no one can take them down. At 230 feet, we meet whale sharks, the largest Ooh. known fish whale species, sharks. weighing up to 60 tons. Dang, and they're also really quite deep. long livers. 60 tons? Well, yeah, I guess their livers are long at that. They can live 130 feet. Look at that belly. Look at the belly. Look at the belly on it. It looks like you, Adam, as a shark. Yeah. yeah. Now, look outside. If you're a scuba diver, it's a real pro. Because at 330 feet, they'll have to be like very cautious not to get decompression sickness. Wow. It occurs if you rise that's too deep. quickly that's to crazy. the surface. And if you're lucky, Three, you can also feet. see a giant octopus. It dwells in cool Whoa. water starting this deep and that thing's going huge. down as far as 6,600 feet. That's a if crack I saw that thing, I'm we're never going the in the dark ocean again. Part of the ocean. At 490 feet, just 1% of the light from the surface reaches us. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, did anybody else get goosebumps there? It's deeper. No. It's scary. darker and darker Something's still. Something's tangling somewhere. Oh, look. This is spooky, though. At about 660 though. feet, there's a giant oar fish no. circling our submersible. What? These creatures are believed to be Ew. the source of all sea serpent sightings and oh. also a lot of it's alliteration. It's so oh, it's a sea Sometimes serpent. They swim up to the surface and what freak that? out sailors and swimmers. No wonder. These fish can reach 36, 36 feet. feet in length. Wow. That should scare the heck out of me, wow. for example. Okay, now we're at 980 I think that's a feet. Serpent. And wait, imagine being that fish, though. Like, you're just 36 feet long with, like, no fins or, like, limbs or anything. You're just, like, one long, like, you're just one long worm in you're the bottom a, of the an, ocean. You're an ocean snake. It's, you do this and you open and close your mouth to, like, eat food. That's it. That's all you're that's doing. That's all Adam does anyway. <laughs> that's all that's all that. Like, you guys their see how natural that life, comes to me? Yeah, you're actually crushing it. Wow. <laughs> their entire life is squirm and eat. And you forgot to mention that it's in complete darkness. Thing oh, yeah, true. That's true. It can't even oh, see. Oh, I get it. It's a Japanese what spider crab. No, no, no. no, no, no. These things look well, huge. Just look at those legs, and the answer nah, will come to that you. That looks like Alex Harry legs. By the way, there's almost not nothing everything more that's to red is me. Legs. The body of such a crab is normally just one and a half feet across. Going deeper now. There's so much meat on that at bad boy. One thousand six hundred forty oh feet. We're deep. You're going to see the last of the blue whales. No, not really oh. the last of them. Oh my god, it's I mean, huge! That's the deepest they can swim. <laughs> they don't really need oh a mass to eat for food, which they have in abundance in shallower waters, but they still can. I guess it's just for the sake of showing how awesome they are. 1,600 feet. After all, they're the largest creatures in the history of Earth, wow. both in the sea and on land. Shh. Oh my gosh, dude. Wait, what about How like deep a megalodon? These are the sounds no, nothing else has ever been bigger than a blue whale. Really? It's many miles away. Yep. Yeah. Wow. They can do this thanks to the SOFAR channel, or deep sea channel, that generally starts at 1,970 feet, but can vary in depth. It's a layer of water where the speed of sound is at its minimum, and sound oh. waves can go thousands of miles before thousands? disappearing. 
At the depth of two they have their own radio channel down there. Feet, yeah. We have reached By the day point that you where the us? Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, Shout would out not humans. even show its tip on the surface if it were put underwater. Hey, Thanks. let's wow. give them a tip. Now we're entering the really interesting part of the ocean, where no sunlight reaches us and strange creatures dwell. I'm scared. One of those How is deep the does giant it get? squid. Oh, yes, that legendary type. It inhabits the depths the of 2,950 feet. That is a kraken. Just imagine a creature like with eyes the size of frisbees. Sperm whales oh my are my frisbees, but they certainly can fight back. What a sight it would be to see such an encounter. Seriously. No. And that's no, if you're seeing that, you're dying after. I this is going to be weird to say. And you guys could probably look at me and be like, dude, you're you're a weirdo. But to me, like, it's crazy that all of that is happening right now. Like, there are krakens and there are sharks and there are blue whales right now. Like, they're out there. And, like, life is happening outside of my little bubble. You and know what gonna I'm saying? We're going to keep it that way, okay? We're going to keep it that way. We're going to no, keep no, it far, no, far away. If this video gets 10,000 likes, we will hop in that submersion tank and yeah. go 10,000 feet down in the ocean, baby. You got that that's all you. That's gonna if be so hard. Like, Three thousand feet right now. Alec will fight a kraken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, no, yeah. Hundred thousand likes. Am I the kraken? I'm gonna dress up as a kraken. <laughs> finally falls on us. The midnight zone. The pressure here is so be a huge sick video for that if you somehow end up being here without a submersible, well, you'll simply be crushed in a couple of seconds, oh. and that without seeing wow. a thing too. Mm, not the best of prospects. Anyway, at 3,600 feet, there's West Mata, one of the deepest ocean volcanoes in the world. Its last eruption was in 2009. I kind of forgot ocean about ocean volcanoes. By a remotely I didn't know it's a thing. 4,200 feet down below, and we see the ferocious great white oh, sharks. Oh, They're oh, sharks that oh, oh, oh. feel great at such a depth. Oh, what the heck? Their eyesight is rather poor, and they navigate by scent. Oh, so wow. they really don't need sunlight to hunt down <laughs> that their That's kind of funny, just imagining a great white you, shark like swimming you. around <laughs> and then it runs directly also, into a, a rock because it can't turtles, see. <laughs> the largest turtles in the world dive at the same depth. I wonder if they do it to tease the great whites. What? Oh, see those huge nets? That. That's because we're now at the depth of 4,900 feet where the catch-all fishing method is used. The nets are here to be dragged along the ocean floor, catching Wait, everything unfortunate enough to be caught. That's I'll a thing? let you decide how detrimental this real? is to the ocean life here. They go here. five thousand wow. feet, down? six thousand feet. Wait, what are they? Wait, what are they even trying to catch? All they said that there was there was great whites and and turtles. Great no, white, literally turtle. probably catching great white turtle, the kraken, the maybe a blue whale in there. Big whale, yeah. Probably dolphins, maybe some, orcas, some alley crabs. No, no, they don't get that deep though. They some just said like the only thing down there is is, is the great whites. Well, they pull and the nets, yeah, yeah, but they're they pulling all it all the way up to the surface, so they're catching yeah. everything in between five thousand feet oh. and zero feet. They just get. That's probably how they're catching all it's, that blue fin. It's like a mystery box. Wow. It's like a mystery box. Adam, you're a mystery box. It's a mystery. Sitting at its lowest and deepest point. Imagine that all the crevasses have been thoroughly filled crevasses. with water, and you'll get the perfect picture. Now, if we're really careful, then at the depth of 6,600 feet, we'll be able to see the black dragonfish. What? A nightmarish what? What is that? creature that dwells in the deep and dark it parts of the big. ocean. And trust me, it's there better it is again. right here. It looks that like something from a big horror movie. And black. And Look at its I'd teeth. It never cross my path. Oh, yeah. At 7,400 nah. feet, nah. we'll be saying goodbye what is that? to sperm whales. What is that? What is that? What is that? This is the deepest what is that? What is that? And frankly, they have no real business at such a depth. Maybe they hunt the black dragonfish, of course. That's or Moby Dick, it right? Them. Nah. I don't know, but the that forehead is comparable is to. Uh, sperm whales can reach I hate to say it, but my own. Feet in length, which makes them the largest toothed whales in the world. Not many creatures can counter that. It's good that our submersible has a powerful floodlight. Without it, <laughs> we wouldn't something. have been able to see the astonishing beauty of the deep sea coral reefs located oh. at the depth of 9,900 feet. They I can didn't be know found that there in every ocean, deep. and it's a pity they can't be seen down? without special deep sea diving equipment. I don't know, but it's cool. Okay, going deeper still, and at 12,100 feet, imagine feet, we reach the how deep do we go? 12,000 feet of water. From now on, the journey into the real depths begins. The, the general Mariana ocean floor right? has must been be passed, popping, whoever's so decided now that. it's time to delve <laughs> into the abyss. Now at 15, oh, now they're getting to the, the abyss, guys. Oh, I've seen that before from Nemo. It's a, it's like a football fish. Angler it's the Nemo fish, fish. for example, angler fish. Scare the heck out of anyone. 
its long and crooked teeth, <laughs> along with oh, a I saw this. I saw this before. That lures uh, an email. Right? Yeah, yeah, I said it was that. Nemo. I said yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Great, I saw it in uh, Nemo. Yeah. Yeah. Even. Great original thoughts, the Jack. Creature called the black that was great. Swallow. Said, great reference. It's an eel-like beast that has a very stretchy stomach. And it can swallow prey that's twice its size. So it's like a deep sea below, snake. And you're going Seriously. to see the deepest shipwreck ever oh, the found. Music's getting intense. SS Rio Grande. The Titanic? South Atlantic oh. <laughs> sunk in 1941 and went as low as 18,900 feet. No wonder it Jeez. was only found 55 years later. And now the deepest and darkest part of the ocean begins. This is incredible. We're diving into the Mariana Trench. Officially, it begins at about 19,700 feet deep. It's both the least explored feet. and the wow. most fascinating area for the scientists alley. and adventurers alike. Like really trying to imagine though how big that is. Well, we're about to see, but while we're not there yet, I'll show you something else. For example, here's the deepest fish ever found. It's Ooh. called a snailfish, what? and it dwells at 26,000 feet. That's such a lame its fish to be the deepest fish ever. So you can actually it down there, see right through its skin. <laughs> Well, I must say, I'm glad we what? didn't Whoa. try it's a space the lights after all. This little That's guy is awesome. surprisingly cute for a guys, creature dude. that can- What if aliens actually aren't in the air, they're actually underground in the ocean? They're hiding. They're, Why? How I is actually, the ocean underground? <laughs> I actually heard a theory that octopuses are aliens. I think and it's like octopi. They, whatever it is, I don't care. But they, they were on an asteroid- I also heard it was octopi, and like, Jack. I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, just when you're talking about octopus, just refer to it as octopi. That's yeah, the plural. You kind of threw me off with your stupidity. Okay, octopi. <laughs> Is it not octopi and you're messing with me? You don't even know. You're looking it up. I see you looking it up. All right, back to my story. There's a theory that octopuses or octopi are here on Earth from an asteroid. Like they were on eggs on an asteroid. Boom, crash landing. Boom, we're in the ocean and are actually aliens. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just, I'm, who I'm told you that? Was it the aliens guy from the History Channel? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I saw it like on TikTok or somewhere. Um, That's all. The I'm most not saying it's true. I'm not, saying, I'm not even saying I believe it. I'm just saying. For octopus is octopuses. See, it is octopuses. Yes, that's what you guys Jack both, said. You owe me an apology. Jack, yeah, but no, said? in Latin, a lot of people say octopi is right. So there's a big debate. We yeah, can talk yeah. about crazy that. Crazy because we're speaking English. That's so, you know. Well, English is derived from Latin. Derived from Latin, Alec. Vertebrate animal whatsoever. The pressure is just too much for such creatures. But there are shrimps and other invertebrates, not to mention microbes, that can dwell even in the deepest Ew. part of the ocean. Shrimps and that part of the challenge are deep. Like a bunch of glow it's the turns. bottom of the Mariana Trench, and its depth is 35,850 feet. Oh! Crash landing. We've arrived at the very bottom <laughs> of the Earth. Few people have been here, and very little is known about it yet. But scientists aren't going to stop. And there's hope we'll soon find. Have you guys ever seen a tsunami? Hopefully not. Today, we're gonna be finding out how big tsunamis can actually get. Tsunamis are some of the most powerful and deadliest forces of nature. Within recent memory, you may recall both the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami and 2011 Japan tsunami, mm -hmm. both of which resulted in catastrophic damage and loss of life. The Indian Ocean tsunami happened after a massive earthquake struck here in the Indian Ocean. The earthquake itself released more energy than every single explosive detonated in the entire Wait, second what? world war, including the no way. Wow. This enormous oh, wow. amount of energy created a tsunami that reached heights of 30 meters feet? high in some places, or about the height of 17 people oh, stacked on top of each other. The wave smashed into Indonesia, South Asia, and the east coast of Africa, punching as deep as two kilometers inland from the coast in some places. Actually, as you can see from photos like this one, the damage Ooh. in these places was often extensive. Dude, now, that just makes me like not want to live near a beach. Yeah. Any single Hopefully time I see pictures yeah. like that, Deadliest like I just don't want to be anywhere near the water because of how scary it is. I hope they had home insurance. They're I'm dead, not... Alec. Bro, They're dead. Yeah, people no. died, Alec. Just swim. Okay, all right. Just swim. It had what? more explosive power than Thank a nuclear you, Jack. bomb. It just said that. How Alex, are you able to please. swim away from it? No, you swim no, away from a nuclear know, they're bomb. Saying, they're saying it had like more force. Not yes. that it exploded. However, Tsunamis however, don't explode. I, I did think I did think when I was younger, like, you know when you're at the beach and you like, you, you see a big wave and you go under the wave? I yeah. thought that maybe you could do that for a tsunami, <laughs> that you could get like under you the can. tsunami and no, then you'd be fine. No, you can't, bro. It's no, Alex, two Alex, miles the, long. It hits the you The wave is two miles. You can't dive two miles, bro. Smack India. It's a hundred feet tall of pure force. Like a normal wave. It's this just video gets 20,000 likes. 
Alec will verse a tsunami and see who lives. Yeah. No, I won't. I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, you're I'm all tough saying. guy. You're all I'll tough do guy. It. I'll do it. You can breaststroke. You can freestyle. You can butterfly. Just swim. Okay. It's just water. Oh my gosh, this guy. Alec doesn't even tsunami know how to swim, so I don't know what he's history. talking about. While the 2011 Japan tsunami was the costliest in terms of damage, that tsunami was also generated by an earthquake that created waves as high as 40.5 meters, just moly. about five meters shorter than the Statue of Liberty, that came slamming into the Japanese east coast, traveling up to 10 kilometers inland away from the coast. As wow. you can see from photos like this, Sheesh. that look like something straight Six out of a Hollywood miles. blockbuster with what used to be a road stretching out into the endless ocean, the economic cost to Japan was enormous. An That's estimated horrible. $300 billion, billion in damages was done, wow. more than the entire GDP of South Africa. But wow. these are what are called regular tsunamis. And there is an That's a regular one? Wait, why did they just throw South Africa under the bus like that? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of like a shot at South Africa. What? Well, they were just showing you like how expensive yeah, that is. Yeah, I guess, They're but putting, yeah. they put a sad He's next to South Africa. What What's was that? more crazy, though, is that they're saying this is a regular tsunami, insinuating that there's crazier Wait, tsunamis. Those are just regular ones? That was a regular one. Oh, God. What is like a not regular, regular tsunami. tsunami? So, regular ones as tall as the Empire State Building. I mean, what's her? What? The Statue yeah, of Liberty. As the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's get our facts straight, boys. Sorry. Of gigantic waves that are simply called mega tsunamis. Mega tsunami. Unlike a regular oh, no. tsunami that is created by an earthquake, you know, a mega tsunami is usually created when a massive amount of material suddenly falls into water like an asteroid is that water oh into a yeah huge wave uh, the most tragic okay. and possibly terrifying or alec when he has a cannibal glacier diving board was back in 1963 here in italy just 100 kilometers north of venice the italian government and a construction company were building okay. what at the time was going to be the largest dam on earth the only problem was that they were building this dam with a huge water reservoir the size of a large lake right next to one of the most Ooh. unstable mountains on the planet with the mountain fell over to the completion of the dam there okay. were several minor landslides and other signs that there could be a catastrophe coming, but rather than heed the numerous warning signs, the Italian they kept building, actually didn't decided they? to sue the few journalists Spaghetti. reporting on the issue oh, for, wow. quote, undermining the social order. The government and company continued to ignore sure all the warning really signs until after. it was obvious that the mountain was actually going to collapse directly into the dam's reservoir. The engineers calculated the landslide that would likely occur, lowered the water in the reservoir to what they believed was a safe level, and then actually stood on top of the dam the night that they expected the landslide Why would they to do occur that? to watch it That's all That's because they down. were so confident. The only problem was, the landslide ended up being over 10 times oh. more powerful than what their calculations had predicted. Why would they wow. stand there at that, that mountain point? Today. It's not worth this it. This right here used it's to be the reservoir, poetic. and all the land that's there now came crashing off the mountain from these areas that are oh now exposed gosh. white rock. This tremendous amount of earth and rock fell into the reservoir oh in a my matter gosh. of seconds, completely filled the entire that is reservoir, crazy. and generated a wave 250 <gasps> meters high that no. flew over the top of the dam and into the villages below. No. The wave was almost feet? the same height as the Transamerica building what? in San Francisco for some reference, and caused an impact crater 60 meters deep and 80 meters wide oh when it my slammed gosh. into the ground on the other side of the dam. If you were standing so from that's this a nuclear wave. wave. That one's almost like a man-made. Alec, Alec, tell me to swim under that one. Tell me to swim. You see in this picture yeah, bro. Be completely covered by water. This photo was taken in the that. town of Longorone, which before the mega tsunami looked like this, but afterwards looked like this. Completely oh my gosh. gosh. Around 2,000 people than a volcano. lost their lives in the accident. 2,000 people died. It's not actually the largest mega tsunami. Stinking scientists, man. History. Come on. People couldn't swim. People have to the go to a mega right. tsunami that happened here in Latuya Bay, Alaska, back in 1958. Oh, a here we go, USA, baby. A caused a massive landslide to occur here at the backside of the bay. The huge amount of land that came crashing into the bay created a titanic wave 525 uh, meters high that slammed into this part no, of the bay. No, 1,700 feet. And smashed into the other side here, causing huge no amounts way. of damage to the rest me? of the bay and destroying millions of trees. The height of this wave was over 100 there meters there? higher oh, than the tip of the Empire no State Building, and just 16 meters short of the recently built One I World can't even Trade Center that. in New York City. But even it's this is tiny than the tallest in building. comparison to some they just said that's tiny. tsunamis. Wait, it's still the tiny? Tsunami it gets bigger? The from a landslide yeah. happened around 1.5 Probably the one that least least died on that one. Hawaii, on the specific island of Molokai. So this At one happened 1.5 million years ago. How do they know the what happened if there's no video evidence? The volcano collapsed into the ocean and generated a wave 600 meters oh. high, which would have completely yeah, look, this inundated video right here. the entire <laughs> island of Molokai and wreaked wow. havoc on the, the rest of the good. island chain. 
This wave would have been about the height of no. four. Oh my Jesus god. <laughs> no way. Other, but even that pales in comparison to the largest well, ever. How, how many Alex is that, though? That asteroid! I knew it! Whoa, whoa, whoa. How many whoa. Alex is that? That's like a thousand of me. Please just imagine, Probably. like, you're like a, like a little dinosaur, and like, you just look up. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's a 2,000 foot wave coming at you out of nowhere. Like, they don't even. <laughs> and, and before that happened, you saw a meteor the size of the moon come crashing down. What about, like, all the fish that's inside of oh, the tsunami? Sharknado. Yeah, they're probably just, like, surfing, like, shark tsunami, and then actually. boom. You think they Sharknado was based on a real event? Well, you gotta think, too, that they're going so fast that if you're, like, a fish inside of that wave going however fast that's going, and then you get slammed into land, yeah. you're probably dead on impact. Unless, no, unless they just, you jump they just out of the swim. water right away. They just Alex, swim. You, you keep saying just swim. Just swimming doesn't save you from a he freaking sounds tsunami. Like, he sounds like he's from Nemo. Just keep swimming. Just keep yeah. swimming. Keep a swimming. fish doesn't All die in water. Swim, this swim, guy probably... Yes, they can. No, this guy probably thinks that if an elevator's falling, if you jump at the last second before it hits the ground, then you're good. That is exactly how it works. <laughs> this is this guy's so dumb. We can't trust him. So dumb. <laughs> God. When an airplane's the crashing... Only one here. Airplane Alex is the only one here that graduated just college. just jump. If an airplane's crashing... And you just jump right before it lands. He's you're good. the dumbest guy I've ever heard. <laughs> he thinks the Earth is flat. Uh, how could asteroids be falling if the Earth's flat? Oh, he, no, he, no, he believes no, the Earth flat. is flat, dude. No, I don't. No, you can't <laughs> say does. that. He does. All right, That's let's let's true. see what this asteroid's about. Which was caused. By I did an call asteroid. the asteroid. About 66 million years ago, the same asteroid that likely killed the dinosaurs also caused possibly the largest mega tsunami Three, in all 4, of feet. history when it I'm crashed get into 5, the modern-day Gulf of Mexico. Twelve thousand. The asteroid was 10 kilometers in diameter no. and released an un. Unbelievable 100 teratons, teratons of guys. TNT worth of energy. For comparison, the Tsar Bomba, which is the largest okay. nuclear bomb ever detonated, released only one two millionth of that same amount of energy. Oh, oh my god. god. Two million Tsar bombs to release this same I amount mean, of energy. Destroyed that is insane. Unbelievable wave of up to five kilometers Whoa. high. That okay, we were a little bit off. <laughs> guys, I think we were a couple feet off, give or take. Yeah, but how many feet is 3.1 miles? Uh, how many feet I don't know. Mile? I'll look it up. It's 16,000 feet. Oh! I was kind of close. I said 12,000. I said five. No, you said five. After I said four. <laughs> I said 12,000. So, I, Alec lost. All right. Dates of the modern uh, yeah, day Alec United is States. so dumb. That's higher than the Matterhorn in the Alps by about 500 wow. extra meters. Just in swim. fact, the height is higher than all of the oh. mountains in the entire <laughs> Alpine mountain range. These waves were so <laughs> that all looks pretty that flat to me. To I don't know about you. That's just unimaginable. Ocean, I can't even picture that. Island of Madagascar would have been so what it is is a lot of water that is high in the air. You got it? I, I get right, it. But yeah, but so I can't. I can't picture it. I can't wrap my head around that. It's just that, like how tall. Like it would just at that point, it would just be the sky. So think of like a wall that's in front of you and then yeah. go water. But there's no wall that that's tall. Like I've never seen a, a wall. It's like I'm looking into okay. space, but there's just- uh, so Alec, there's... Alec, he barely leaves his room. So how can you even imagine that? When I look up, I see a ceiling. There's this thing that is called imagination. You can imagine it, right? You but just think of a lot, I... big wave of water. I've never seen it before. Oh, so what? But it goes up three miles. If I say I'm unicorn trying, in the I'm sky. Trying. I'm trying. If I say I unicorn in the sky. Miles. How I need silence, guys. I'm trying to focus. You unicorn in the sky. Okay, I, I see Alec in a tutu. He's dancing. There's there's fairy dust everywhere, and he, he has a horn on his forehead. Adam, okay, Adam. I do okay, have now to do that with water. Whoosh. Now do that with water. Okay, Whoosh. there's it's a wave Alec. coming. Whoosh. Water, three miles high, Alec just, coming at you, a cannibal. crashing onto you. In the, in the river? Oh, there's a big wave. Oh my gosh, it's growing. It's growing. Oh, okay. It's still growing. Oh, it's up, it doesn't it's up. stop growing. Oh, it's, it's up. It's so face. high in the air. Oh my it's gosh. So high. Alex eating a cheeseburger on the top of the wave. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can imagine it. Wait, wait, he's he looks like. He's balloon. going in for a, he's going in for a kiss? No. What? Wait. Wait. What? Wait. What? Are you <laughs> Adam's liking it? No. Wait, okay. What? Okay. We're so off topic. No. Please. Okay. No. Let's no. Uh, Jack. Let's in this see what the, how this finishes. No escape from the clutches of the ocean's waves, no matter how high on the land that you can get to. It's a weird thought, but at least it happened 66 million years ago, and there's really no fear of something like that ever happening again, right? Wrong. Unless the 0.0001% chance of one of the Canary Islands collapsing into the ocean during your lifetime happens, which would cause a tsunami about one kilometer high and would probably wipe out the entire east coast no. of the United no. States. No, 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 no. Maybe. Wait, 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 wait. Not. Legit, just from an island collapsing, We're on the it east would coast. travel that far? Yeah, it's like a butterfly it looks, effect. Like, it with looks the so tiny. 
Dude, that's like, all right, let, let's just kind of take it into perspective here. That's like saying that like one of my turds coming out of my butt is going to cause a tsunami. There's no way. Is that, that a, is that a comparison? It's a whole what island. Mean, island. It's a whole island. 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 Your poop. How what? big are you pooping? I know, it's but a whole compared, island. compared to look how far it has to travel. Look how big the ocean the is. The more time it has, the bigger the wave yeah, the bigger it gets. I've seen poops yes. in the toilet bigger than that little dot on the screen. Yeah, but the longer it travels, the bigger it gets. It's like creating an army of water Jack, as it goes. What is Jack talking about? <laughs> Seriously. Saying, dude, when I poop, there's no tsunami, but you're telling me an island collapsing it is going to cause like a tsunami? It sounds like there might be. We should do some experiments. Sometimes I feel like I say dumb things. That might have been the dumbest thing I've heard today. Yeah. Jack, are you pooping in the ocean? I do have to go to the bathroom. I've pooped in the ocean before, and then I pulled my pants up and went back on the boat, and then it was still in my pants, and it fell down onto the boat. <laughs> no, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> no, how old were you? Uh, 12, 13. I was, if if that was in God, the last five years, I would have hung so off. Was, I mean, it's, it's, it's basically as good as being in the last five years. So you, like, have a, had a conscience. <laughs> so you weren't, you like, 20 on years old. No, no, I, I thought you were gonna say water. you were maybe. I thought you were gonna say maybe you were four years old. I jumped off the boat, pulled oh, my yeah, pants down, old. pooped. You're in middle school. Yeah, that, it's not my <laughs> fault. I jumped in the water, pulled my pants down, you pooped, pulled my it. pants back up, went onto the boat, and the poop was stuck in my pants. You were chum in the water. So you pooped on someone else's boat. No, I pooped in the water, and it got stuck <laughs> in my pants, and then trickled out of my leg onto the boat. <laughs> Sounds like you pooped on somebody's boat. Did you see okay. it, or did it someone with a couple it extra boat. steps? It was my dad's boat. Was your dad? You pooped on your father's boat. He thought it was funny. No. Yeah, it's funny. How did we get from that? Let's talk about tsunamis, okay? Yeah, let's finish. That's your fault. There's no way it gets <laughs> bigger than this. I am very glad but I mentioned it's that. it's still fun to think about. This video has been brought to you by- Oh, oh that the was end. the video. That was it. That <laughs> okay, was the well, video. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to check out more Beck Bros, click this video right here. If you poop, leave a like.